The big game is fast approaching. But wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Starting with Simon Peach here, so he passed the mic across. Hi Marcus, Simon Peach from the Press Association. Um, there was obviously, you asked a lot about VAR then, but did someone come and speak to you before the tournament, so an official from FIFA, some referees or something, to discuss the protocols and what to expect? Yeah, um, they, did, they did do that and I think it was needed as well because um, I think we all learnt some, some things that we probably didn't know before, before the tournament. So, um, yeah, they've, you know, they've cleared things up with us and you know, that's, that's good that they've done that because we understand um, which decisions may go to VAR and which decisions may not. And, you know, I think it still needs a bit more clearing up, but like I said, in, in time that will, that will come. Did, did, did you look back at the decisions that you were asked about with involving Harry at the end of the first half and the second half and what was your what was your view from the bench um, from the bench it's it's tough to tell but you know we can only go off what's been happening in the game um, and before the ones on Harry in the box it was happening anyway and you know no, it's, it, it wasn't flagged up or they, they never checked it then and then when it happens in the box you expect them to check it and you know, they didn't check it, but um, it's a tough one because that's not really, it's, it's not our call, you know. Um, like I said, it's it's fairly new and I'm sure they'll improve as it, as time goes on. This is your, your second major tournament. I guess the last one was a bit of a whirlwind given your your rapid ascent, but does it feel different this time, the mood around the camp, and, and do you feel different in yourself? Um, yeah, I think the mood the mood around the camp's a lot a lot calmer from what I can remember of the last, the last tournament. Um, but I think that's that's as expected. Um, you know, we was we was all fairly new to each other in that tournament, and now we've managed to build build relationships. And you know, the team really is a team now. And I think that that only puts us in good stead for the for this tournament and and future future tournaments. I mean, a lot of your teammates and the manager have spoken about that togetherness, and that did seem to come to bear last night at the end. That there was no little patience as well. You guys managed to dig deep, which is looks quite hard. Given the relative inexperience of, of the group, um, yeah, you can you can say that. But like I said before, um, we've we already know that within ourselves, um, and the games that are, that everybody can watch is all it is is an opportunity for us to showcase that and sort of show everyone how far how far we've we've really come and. You know, even that's why I say even if we draw that game, we stay calm, and the next game is an opportunity to again showcase what we've what we've been working on, and you know, get the get get three points. And I think that that mentality has to has to it has to stay because you know you're not gonna win you're not gonna win every single game, and when you do when you do lose or when you do draw, you have to you have to learn from it. And as a team, we're capable of doing that. And it doesn't really matter about about the age of us or how experienced we are. I think if we have that togetherness, then you know we can we can all drag each other through. Uh, you, you showcase your own abilities. The game at Ellen Road, you even had Leeds fans cheering for you. Um, how frustrating was it to get that little niggle before before the opening game? And I mean, how did it come about? And I mean, were you concerned about it at any point, really? Um, it was a bit. It was more just annoying because it's something that I've. I've had before and I've had to to sort of play with before, and so it was just a bit annoying the time of the timing of it for it to to come just before we we travelled them um, to the tournament. But you know we you have to stay calm in them situations, and like I said, I've 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 had it before, so it's it wasn't sort of a shock to me. So I knew what I had to do to to recover um, fast enough for the for the game. Um, and you know that will continue to happen now for the tournament. I'll have to keep doing that sort of recovery and stuff in order to to stay in shape for the games. And finally, for me, I'm not expecting you to be able to name the entire Panama starting lineup or anything. But what what do you know about them? What what are you expecting from them? Probably more to the point. Um, you know, they're a team that 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 can play can play good football, and we have to do what we can to to nullify that. Um, you know, they they like to play out from the back and. 
they've got some some quality in the team as well. So you know we have to show respects to them and we we have to go there and ultimately get the three points. I th uh, thank you. Uh, two questions. One, uh, it's not about the football. Uh, do you satisfy of the um, condition here in Saint Petersburg, in s in the south of Saint Petersburg, by the team, uh, training, meals, and everything? Oh, um, I think that the base has been brilliant. Um, you know, everything's everything's close by, and we've got everything that we need in in sort of one complex and. You know, it's a lot more organised than than the past tournament I went to. Um, so you know, that's credit to the to the staff that have organised the venue and they've given us sort of a, a a very good base camp to to you know we've got everything that we need there to to perform to recover. So, did you use uh, Russian uh, food, Russian meals here? Um, <laughs> no, we've not yet. But you know, maybe on one of the days off, there's an opportunity to sort of <laughs> go out and. Because it's good to, to sort of try and understand the, the culture, um, so hopefully we get an opportunity to go out and explore. And now about f f football. Uh, what I was uh, what I watched yesterday and yesterday night, the English team playing fantastically strong uh, first 15 minutes before the goal. And after that, it was not like, like uh, the, in the beginning. And the f uh, last 15 minutes was great. Why uh, you not playing 60 minutes, not like first 15 and last 15? Um, you know, I think it's a, it's a tough one. You don't go into a game thinking you're going to play well first 15 minutes and then the next 30 minutes you're not going to play well. So um, I think you have to understand that there's, you know, it's not unopposed. This, you, you're playing against players that are trying to do the same thing to you and you know it can be it can be tough sometimes and in the moments you have to you have to pull each other together and if you don't get through that moment then you don't even, you don't get the opportunity to perform in the in the last 15 or 20 minutes so you know we done well to to sort of stay in the game and we kept pushing throughout the game and i think the tempo went down a little bit but then you know we li we managed to lift it back up so um you know being in that situation at the end of the game is is credit to us okay guys last couple Hi Marcus, uh, Don Farrell from Perform. Um, Harry Maguire's performance last night got an awful lot of plaudits. He looks in really great form. He's been quite new to the squad, but um, so what sort of challenges he to play against in training? What does he bring to this team? Um, you know, I think he's, he's very calm on the ball and obviously his, his physicality is a big, a big positive for us. Um, but for me, that's, the, that's sort of the biggest thing that... that um, was sort of unexpected when he first came into the squad. How calm he is on the ball, and how well he how well he can come out and play with the ball, and and especially in the formation that we have, it's it's good to have that, that them sort of players that can sort of push the ball into the midfield or push it to the forwards, and and I think he'll get a lot of confidence from from that performance yesterday. Okay, last question. Just um, about the BBC figures. I don't know if you're aware of the fact that 18 million people were watching last night, another three million online. It's the biggest audience, biggest TV audience uh, this year, bigger than the Royal Wedding even. Are you aware of that? I know you, you, you tweeted about the pride you felt when you ran on the pitch and Jesse Lingard described it as his proudest moment. I was just wondering how that makes you feel when you're aware of all that kind of strength of support. Um, I think I think we know how strong the support is um, because, you know, in, uh, football in England is, is sort of a big part of many people's lives and you know, I've I've been a fan of England and I still am a fan of England and I know what it means for the for the public and for the fans um to to see us doing well. So the support is I think it's always there, no matter how no matter how many sort of critics there is, I think the support will always be there and you know, we have to we have to find a way to connect with them. Um, which we've been doing a lot better in recent times. And just finally, there was a, a very funny uh, comment in the podcast from the camp about you sharing your bed with your, your, your bro, Jesse Lingard, watching films and things like that. Could you just tell us? <laughs> it's a bit bef sort of before your time, but it reminds me of Morgan and Wise sat in bed watching films. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? I mean, are you, are you playing computer games? Are you watching? Are you doing Call of Duty? Are you watching films together? The, the, there were jokes about the bromance between the two of you. Is that what you tend to do in your spare time? Sort of spend a lot of time with Jesse? Uh, yeah, usually we do. Um, I think in this camp so far, we've been doing a lot of training. And then, you know, obviously the game yesterday, and we've not had much sleep since 
since the game. Um, so it's been quite relaxed so far, but I'm sure um, you know we, we're, we're missing watching films and playing PlayStation. Okay, guys, wrap up there. Thank you very much. Thank you.